Hey everyone, Illusionist Dave here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a pop art photo using Corel Paint Shop Pro. I've seen a lot using Photoshop, and you can certainly translate the commands and effects, but it would be a lot easier if you could watch this video and do it this way. I've already opened up the image, I've already duplicated a layer, and the other thing that you'll need to do is put a layer in between there that is a a regular raster layer that you bucket filled white. Okay, and I'll explain why that's there for a, a, in a minute. Make sure the copy of background is selected though first. Alright, now you want to go to adjust brightness and contrast threshold. Threshold, the, the, the higher the number of the threshold, the blacker it gets and the less detail you have. The lower the number, the more white, the less detail. So we want to keep it at about 91. 91 looks good. You want a stark black and white contrast image. And so that's what you're getting there. I'm going to go ahead and to save time, I'm going to erase where the pupils of the eyes would be and there's a reason for that that I'll show you in a minute in the tutorial. Make sure this is really low though, low uh, low setting on there. Erase it. Do, do, do. It's probably a little thick. There we go. Now again erase that. It's probably again a little too much. Make a mistake, hit Control Z, or if it using the eraser, you always right click and go back over that spot. So, this is what our image looks like. Let me actually do that a little more. Okay, so this is really the kind of image we're going for. Now, what we're going to do. Since we've done the threshold, we're going to go to Effects, Artist Effects, Halftime. You know those magazine and newspaper articles and images, I mean, that you find, and they are circles? They're just made up of a bunch of circles? That's what this does with this image. It turns it into one of those images, essentially. The higher size, the bigger the circles are. The smaller the size, the smaller the circles, but also the more the circles you get. So we're going to leave this at, I think, two for now. By the way, the reason you put the raster layer there was because when you erased the copy of the background, that white raster layer is showing through where you erased. That's just the rationale behind that. Now we've got everything that we need. Now we're going to start painting. We're going to go to layers, new raster layer, we're going to make it darken, pick a flesh tone which I've already picked out, actually no I didn't, pick a flesh tone which I've already picked out, <laughs> now, bump up the size of the brush, uh, the bigger they are the better, and then if you want to you can try to go around the eyes a little bit, it won't hurt too bad if you go over the eyes it's not that big of a deal notice I made some mistakes as you are going to do that's fine click your eraser brush and <laughs> you're gonna need a bigger eraser brush maybe it was kinda crazy of me to pick this small one but it's okay it works now you, a little mistakes okay I mean it's not it's supposed to be artsy not perfect you're not creating professional quality graphics. You're just creating pop art. Got that done. Now on that same layer, I'm going to go ahead and paint the background. And I'm going to make it sort of a green layer. Uh, again, we're going to try to stay away from the white, I mean the peach skin, but we're going to, we got in there a little bit, but that's okay. Again, this is just kind of rough. I'm just kind of having fun. If you do happen to mess up like I did there, go ahead and hit Control. Select your P 
peach color and go back over the image and that looks cool uh, I think that looks fine now finally actually no one more thing <laughs> I messed up we're going to have to you see these skin colored teeth we're gonna fix that we're gonna use our lasso tool point to point replace other settings point to point selection type and then the mode is replaced the feather I've got it on two. I don't necessarily need that, but that's what I've got it on, so that's okay. It'll work. Anti-alias is checked, and I'll show you all those settings here in a minute. All right. So there we go. All those. Now, on that peach layer, hit delete, and then on your copy of background, hit delete essentially what that does is the same thing I did with the eyes I just did it uh, later than I did I should have done it all at the same time now we're going to paint the eyes the eyes are gonna look cool we're gonna use a nice blue who doesn't like blue I go to about 11 on here when I've got this size and make sure you're on the right layer you're going to be on this layer again you can use different layers for this oh and make sure you've selected nothing selections none that way that's not selected anymore also uh, like I said you can do different colors on different layers but I do them all on the same layer it's just simpler for me easier for me and there you go. That is how to create pop art in just a few seconds. Well, a few minutes. I hope you like it. I hope you learned a lot. I know it went fast, but I have done 50 takes of this tutorial, literally, and I just want to get it done. So if you have any questions, though, email me, write me, comment, rate, whatever you want to do. Thank you for subscribing if you're a subscriber. If you're not, thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Thank you and have a great night.